hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are an oldie if you're new welcome to my channel my name is Lindy M and on this channel we do homemaking cooking organizing and decorating and some sh come shopping with me as well so if you like that type of content please subscribe help my channel to grow it only takes you to just hit the subscribe button it doesn't cost you anything but it really helps my channel and if you enjoy the video don't forget to click on that like button and share with your family and friends they might enjoy it as well and for the oldies thank you so much for always supporting me and sticking with the channel so what are we doing today i have a couple of areas that i want to do in my kitchen um so i'm gonna share them with you in this video it's all organizing um this video was done over three days because I only have so much time in a day <laughs> to dedicate to organizing um, so this video is not to shame you if your kitchen needs organizing it's just to show you that you can get it done by doing it a bit at a time pick a drawer pick a cupboard and do it the more you do it the more your kitchen will get organized the more you find it easy to work in the kitchen and you will feel motivated to do even more and finish off so yeah that's what the video is about this video is to hopefully motivate you to get some cleaning done some organizing done so the three areas i want to organize are, are my deep freezer because the drawers in there are broken and i have new ones that have come through the insurance uh, and i need to just organize in there and make it nice and fresh and make it easy for me to find stuff in there because some things go in there and you never see them for a year <laughs> And then the other place I want to organize is my spice cabinet. Um, it's so overflowing with spices and I'm just too overwhelmed every time I open it. So I thought I'll just organize it so it makes sense. So it's easier for me when I'm cooking. I just reach out for the spice. And the third uh, area I'm going to organize is a part of my kitchen that... Um, has nothing at the moment so I'm gonna add storage I'm gonna add a Billy bookcase there and just organize um, my food on the on the Billy bookcase so yeah I hope you enjoy this video <laughs> so in here I want to add some storage there I had a small bookcase, you know, the one that's um, about 40 centimeters and one meter going up. So I'm going to have one that's double the size, the 80 centimeter one. But it will go here because I need storage uh, for food. <laughs> I just want to use that space for storage. I know I'll be losing counter space, but I'm okay with that. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes From falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high, even if the sky is falling down. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Thank you. 
Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. in the big baskets that are going on the top I don't want them to be too heavy this one is even heavier than I wanted um, but I'm just putting excess stuff so I've got excess pasta here so when those jars are finished I will add this to the jars and then I have the excess sugar that I I will add to that and my erythritol I've got um, an erythritol container for the one that is a sugar substitute these ones are for baking because this like this is an icing sugar substitute and this is a brown sugar substitute and i also have some icing sugar some muscovado and dark brown sugar there and some muesli so that that's that on this box on this basket and then in this one i've got my excess coffee i have some excess baking stuff syrup some jelly and some dark cocoa powder i also have carpenta my husband likes that and some pink lemonade i wanted to use it for my sister-in-law's uh, party but we were not allowed to bring any drinks to the venue and i have my raisins here so that's all that's gonna go into this one i might throw in a few items that are excess but something light that can fit here but for now this is what these baskets hold Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done. I got this reusable really storage from um, Amazon. This one. Um, you can use it to store anything really even soup because it is leak proof um, if you want to pour soup into it you use this it's a stand that you you hook the bag on these hooks and then it opens up and you can pour whatever you want to put in there and it will be standing on the stand but today I'm not going to be using soup. I'm just going to transfer all the stuff that's in my freezer into these bags here. So that it looks nice and tidy. And these are the drawers. So this is the smallest ones for the bottom. you how nice it is to 
see a drawer with this glass thing. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing. But I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking. area I want to organize is my spice cabinet um, this is what it looks like right now it's <laughs> it's ridiculous I know um, it was organized before as you can see I've got this step here but <laughs> but I've had more spices added to my repertoire or to my recipes and I now have to organize this to help me organize I got these jars from PNM yes I went to home bargains to search for them because the last ones these ones I got from home bargains um, but I'm gonna now use these ones I'll just wash out these ones and reuse them as well I have three of them and I got 12 from B&M and they were one pound can you see one pound 50 each so what I'm gonna do is wash them dry them and start organizing all these spices into that
I wasted a few labels here um, whilst I was trying to learn how to do the labels basically, how to change the font, how to change the font size. I apologize guys, my voice is not not good. That's why I haven't been doing voiceover for this video. But I thought I would show you um, a step-by-step -step thing of how to do at least one label. Um, play around with it don't worry about losing a few labels at least once you get the hang of it then you will be doing perfect labels i wanted to escape for a while not that a couple of drinks could ease my mind i've been thinking of you for two weeks straight i know that i need to get myself back in the game someone said your name had a ton of Suddenly you're there standing in the crowd Everything comes back in the blink of an eye It's like you're mine, you're still mine They skip the small talk Cause you know me better than I Know myself for my spit a while now Since I saw you But it feels like yesterday somehow looks now I'm really happy with the way it turned out um, all my imported spices are down here except for the Raja hot um, it's from South Africa and it wouldn't fit with all my imported ones so all of these are either from South Africa or from Zim and then that one is mostly Costco and things that you can buy here in the UK um, Things that you can find here in the UK like chili powder and turmeric at the back. Up there I have Costco paprika and sea salt and some gravy. Um, I also have bottles to fill these up at the back of those. There were these little bottles that I got from I think Lido Aldi. I'm just gonna keep them there sealed. Um, these ones when they run out so like right now i've run out of parsley i'm gonna put parsley in there and thyme in here so yeah i will just be filling these up as they are used up they're already labeled so it makes my life so much easier in the meantime i'll just put all these little ones in a basket if i need a particular spice i'll just take it out from the basket um those baskets up there so thank you so much for watching to the end. I really appreciate it. If you're new on the channel and you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here as part of the madness. <laughs>
so thank you so much for watching to the end guys i really appreciate it if you're here and you're not subscribed please consider subscribing to my channel it really helps my channel to grow i'd like to build it to like a thousand subscribers because yeah that's when youtube will start monetizing my channel and that's no lie even though this is a hobby i would like to see it succeed just being open with you there and for those that have been with me from the beginning and you're here thank you so much guys for sticking with me i will continue to post a video every sunday for as long as i can i do have something coming up um that's probably gonna take a lot of my time but i promise that i will make time to post a video here so until next time this is lindy thank you so much for watching bye You could be the pop where it all